So local regen therapies definitely are a mainstay of the treatment of primary liver cancer. They have been uh, uh, acknowledged as a therapy based on clinical trials always all the way back from the early 2000s. So it's been there like about 15 years plus. Uh, the uh, pertinence of local regional therapy really is uh, to make sure that you apply it in the right setting, uh, i.e. a disease that's not resectable, not transplantable, not curable in other words, but also at the same time is not metastatic. And uh, the classic application here is some form of embolization, either as a bland embolization or as a chemo embolization. Uh, and uh, there is a difference in opinion in that regard. Our data from Sloan Catering published in JCO earlier this year has shown that actually there's no difference between bland and chemo embolization. The practice, however, generally uh, throughout the world remains a chemo embolization component. Uh, the other therapy that's uh, also applied is uh, the uh, Atrium 90, which is uh, uh, kind of a more a new advent to the field. Uh, this is more applicable in the setting of a portal vein thrombus uh, based on data that's collected by Dr. Salem from Northwestern University. Uh, and if anything, the question, however, remains not to really if there is a role for local regional therapy, but can we add something to local regional therapy? And I go back to the question that I was asked earlier, which is uh, the role of sorafenib in the local regional setting was unfortunately negative. We didn't prove that the addition of sorafenib will add anything in that regard, but we just have to wait and see what will be the addition of the anti-PDL1 in that setting.